Well, it seems this Chiefs Broncos game on Thursday night might be on the same scale as a Beatles concert in the 60s. Yeah, everyone is excited for this one, including fans and crews working out here today. Should we do a selfie? It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for Super Chiefs fan Stephanie Stevens. So much so, she drove her parents, Broncos fans, more than 16 hours to see this game. Who doesn't want to experience this? Even these Broncos fans admit this is the game. The place you do for your children. <laughs> I want to see him win on my home turf. Don't we all? But there will be a lot of orange at this game out here in the parking lot. More than 6,000 orange cones lining the Truman Sports Complex for the anticipated sellout. It takes a crew of 12 three days to get all these cones in place. It's crazy busy, but we're all excited for it. It's going to be such an exciting game. For those who can't make it to the game, nearly 50 television cameras will be covering it from angles all over the stadium. Most shows you can do in two days. This takes three to four. And then there's this, the special NFL Network fan zone, complete with a jumbotron, couches, an Xbox game, and interactive things for fans to do while they're not watching the game. The whole crew comes in tomorrow, so we'll be ready to go. And the Chiefs are asking fans to get here as early as they can tomorrow. The gates in the parking lot open at 2.30, and there's a B2 flyover coming up before the game, and they're hoping that fans will be in their seats for that. Reporting outside the Truman Sports Complex, Alan Shope, KNBC 9 News.